All right, guys, so I'm gonna be talking about uh, my uh, form labs prints. Uh, as you can see, I've been printing some prototypes. And my main problem with the form labs printer is that uh, stuff like this keeps happening. You see that? And I add like extra supports because that's mainly the problem, right? But it happens in every single one of them. Holes. This one was warping and I had to cut it because it was warping. So that's the problem. So you get holes. Then another problem is that you get uh, stuff like, uh, no, it's not this one. Oh, you see, this one right here. You see that? There's not a hole, but it's just like a thinning of the uh, walls. So what I do in order to fix these crappy holes is that I fill them in with a uh, epoxy clay, and then I sand them down. But it kind of defeats the purpose of having a 3D printer if you don't have to fix them up, you know. So this is another one. So this one was pretty bad. This one was kind of bad. I had to cut off the whole bottom part on the bottom of this because it was doing the same thing that this is doing. You see, it's warping. I don't know if you can see it, but um, the middle part is sticking out. It's supposed to be flat. So it's warping. So you see that's holes right there. Then I think it had another hole in the head. Oh yeah, they had a hole right there. And so that's one, two, pro you know, it warps, holes, and then the third problem is, you see where the little um, support systems used to be at? I kind of cut them down and send them down a little bit. But um, they, uh, they create these little bumps. They look like kind of like pimples that you have to also send down. Um, I have a uh, red paint because I've been using paint to paint some stuff, but anyways. So that's problem number three or four, whatever. The other problem is that it's freaking brittle as hell. You see this? I think I dropped it and I, uh, I just broke. So that's another problem. It's brittle as hell. This one also was pretty bad. You see that? It was, uh, I had to do that, I had to pat, put a patch a whole bunch of holes, this one, it was, the, this one wasn't that bad, because there was no holes on his face, but the bottom part was pretty bad, and then it, it dropped in and this cracked, but uh, there was a hole on the bottom right here, this I still got a fi fix, there was a hole on the neck. So yeah, that's my problem with uh, uh, this 3D printer right here, the Form Labs Plus. I don't like it. I think it was kind of a waste of money. Um, they don't tell you about this. This when you buy it, it doesn't tell you it's gonna have holes. Honestly, I think this actually comes out better. This is my uh, 500 3D printer, and I use uh, the uh, ABS uh, acetone bath to smooth it out. I think this one came out better than the one that I, that almost $3,000 printer, whatever, $2,000 printer. So yeah, that's my review of the Formlabs 3D printer with my uh, Donald Trump and my Putin butt plugs. I don't know if I would recommend buying this stupid printer. Alright, that's it guys. See ya.